Hey guys, today we are unboxing the God of War Kratos 1 third scale statue from the PlayStation Gear Store. The statue was made in celebration of the 10 years anniversary of the series and is limited to only 500 pieces worldwide. It's been out for about a year now, I think, so you might have already seen other reviews and unboxing for this, so I'll try to make it quick with this one. So let's open it up. So you get that little paper with a picture of the statue on it. There's no certificate of authenticity coming with the statue, so I guess that's a bit like a certificate. And the back is just blank. So here is the box. Okay, we have the God of War logo. PlayStation logo and collectible statue on the top PlayStation and the back is just a solid black with once again the PlayStation logo so that's the box and let's keep unboxing So we have this blade right here. Alright, so that's the base. Here you have God of War, God of War Ascension, actually. Uh, exclusive edition, so I got number uh, 18 out of 500. And PlayStation logo and Santa Monica Studio logo. Now let's assemble this. Here it is, uh, the completed statue. It's, it's really big, actually, if you can see. Here is my size comparison. First, we have the uh, little statue from the God of War Ascension Collector's Edition, which is mm, roughly six or seven inches tall. Uh, so you can see that. The one third scale statue is much bigger, of course. This is uh, the PS3 game. Oops. And ugh. the art of God of War Ascension. It's right here. So this statue is really big. It's uh, roughly 26 inches tall. It's just a little just a little bigger than 26 inches tall. And here is a size comparison with Kratos on Throne by Gaming Heads, which is a one foot scale. And it's um, about 28 inches tall. But you can see that uh, they're both really big statues. Of course, Kratos does feel um, a lot smaller on Kratos on Throne than the uh, one third scale statue from the, the station gear store and it's quite interesting to see the difference between the two statues because this one here is from the original god of war and this one here is from god of war ascension and the skin tone is is really different uh like this one is much more bluish blue with some uh mm, little brown accents and this one here is like uh, more like yellowish cream color so it's uh, very different colors Kratos was much more gray so so the correct skin tone I think would be between these two not blue not yellow but gray all right here is a 360 view of the statue
Now let's look at the paint and the sculpt of the statue. The statue was designed by the God of War team, so it wasn't made by a tier company like Gaming Heads or Sideshow. One thing that I really like is the expression that they gave to Kratos. He really looks like he's mad with the paint around his eyes and his mouth. Uh, the skin is really nicely detailed. Its sculpt isn't completely smooth, it has a nice skin texture and the paint on it, as I already said, it's a light blue with some brown and white accents, so it looks more like a grey color when you move away from it. These chains here are made from real metal, which is a nice little touch. Uh, his hands have a very well detailed sculpt, and there's a little plastic gem in each sword. His tunic is made from cloth and it looks like a great quality cloth. Uh, it's, it's relatively thick and the pattern on it is really well painted. These here should be brown, not orange, because they were brown in the game. And the armor on the uh, the boots, I'm not sure how to call this, are they're not as gold as I was expecting them to be. They're a little too brown to me. So here are the toes. And here is the base, the moss. So overall the sculpt on this piece is really good. The paint app is good too. Uh, is it worth $600? I don't know. But it's on sale now at the PlayStation Gear Store. It's only $300 instead of $600, which is ridiculously cheap for such a limited and uh, such a big one-third scale piece. So here I wanted to show the skin tone, which is more accurate than the Cradle Centron skin tone. When you're close to it, you really see that it, it's blue and brown, but when you're at 1 or 2 meters, uh, it looks more like a grey color. So overall, that's a very beautiful statue. If you're a big God of War fan, this statue it, it's very iconic, it's big, it's impressive, it's limited, and it's on sale. So I, it just, I recommend you getting it before it sells out. Now, the PlayStation Gear Store was shipped only to the United States and to Canada. Shipping to Canada was $150, but that included custom charges, hopefully. So if you are in Europe, you can't buy it. You will have to ask someone in the US to buy it and ship it to you, and shipping got to be very expensive, because this is huge. So that's probably the main reason why this statue isn't sold out yet. It's been on sale for like... 8 months I think, it's been on sale for a while and it's still in stock. So either people aren't aware that it's on sale, either they do not live in North America so they can't get it. Um, but if you can, if you can get it, go ahead, because this piece is really amazing. And it's only $300, so that's pretty much it for this quick review. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.